see him do, and this is the day he's leaving to go to Oklahoma. I'm going to show you just his basic uh, groundwork signals to get him to do everything that I've taught him. I'm going to start out with just some basic things, moving his, disengaging his hindquarters, moving his shoulders, backing him up. So, the back, I'm going to turn him to the side so you can see. I'm just going to wiggle my finger and look right into his eyes. And that's his cue to back. And then I'm going to bend and just give him a smile to bring him back up to me. Again, back, and I might cluck to him a little bit. And then just bring him back up to me like that. To move his shoulders, I'm just going to stand up here between his head and his shoulder and give him a little signal like this with my hand move his shoulder. You can do that on both sides. Now to disengage his hindquarters, I'm just going to bend and look at them. Also can do that on both sides. Um, to bypass him away from me, I'm going to stand back here more towards his shoulder and do this. And to bring him to me, I'm going to put this arm up and kiss. It's always the arm that is closest to his hip when you're on that side. So if I'm on this side, it's going to be a left arm. And I can also stand still and bring his, just his hip around. I'm just going to hold him with this hand here. And ask him to just bring that hip. And then I could disengage his hip that way and ask him to bring his hip to me this way. This is what you'll do at the mounting block to bring him over to you at the mounting block to get on. So just by raising that arm, he's going to know for it. he's supposed to come to you. Um, he also knows how to back with his tail. Um, and then if I'm going to, like say I'm going to circle him, so I'm going to stand in the front, I'm going to point and send him which way I want to go and I could have a stick here. And then I can ask him to trot, like I can trot in place and he knows that that means trot. Then I can disengage and walk backwards and switch directions. And then to stop, I can disengage his hip and he's going to stop and face me. And then I can bring him to me. Um, what else? Uh, the getting him to uh, lift his leg. That's kind of his newest trick. It's not perfect, but <laughs> he kind of knows when I stand here at the side and lift my leg, that's what I want him to do. <laughs> Sometimes I have to reinforce that with the stick, but he's getting pretty good at it. Um, if I want him to pick something up or touch it, um, I'm just going to mostly point at it. I don't have anything out here right now, but I would just point at it and kind of send him to it. And then when he gets to it, I would ask him to stop and then
and just keep pointing at it until he either picked it up or sometimes I would want him to touch it with his foot. Okay, so if I wanted him to get this boot, I would just point at it. Good boy. And then I can have him bring it to me. Good boy. And now this is the cue I used to drop it, but he doesn't always listen to that one. Drop it. Good boy. Now if I wanted him to just touch it with his foot, I would just focus on his feet to get him to touch it with his foot. I know that these cues may look a little bit subtle, but you just kind of have to maybe study this. Uh, I'm the only one that's worked with this horse. He knows me inside out. I kind of know him inside out. Uh, so I don't know how he's going to react to anybody else. But if you have any questions, you know, you can let me know. And just keep watching this over and over. Um, that's about all the basics I can show you that he knows. And we've just built things from there and turned it into anything else that he can do. In order to do the spin that I've taught him, it's broke down into a couple of different cues. So if I want him to spin to his left, I'm going to disengage this side and then give him this cue and kick. And then draw back to me. So again, I'm going to disengage his hip, give this cue, kiss, and draw back to me. So that's how you get him to spin. And then one last thing is he will side pass with you in the front. By crossing your legs over either way. If he's not moving his hindquarters, then I'm going to look at them to move them.